Hey, what's going on, everybody? Happy Tuesday. Hope you're having a great start of your week here so far. Um, got six games on this NBA slate here. Nothing crazy. Before I get started, go ahead and like and subscribe. Support the channel. And uh, go ahead and join me. Join the Patreon. Only $5.50. You're going to get access to the private Discord. It's a no-brainer. 56 members already. Got a strong community. And uh, would love to have you on board here. And become a YouTube member today as well. Uh, support the channel and get exclusive perk benefits. We'd love to have you on there as well. And uh, this is my second time recording this video. I don't know what happened. It just messed up. So I had to record this again. So it's kind of annoying. So go ahead and smash that like button. Got six matchups here. Going to make this one quicker than the last one. Hawks versus the Raptors, 29 and 25 or the Hawks 29 and 25 29 24 and 1 against the spread Toronto 21 and 33 22 and 32 against the spread Toronto currently favorites at minus two and a half Atlanta plus two and a half with the over under at 221 and a half a lot of injuries for this game you know Gallinari is doubtful Trey Young is questionable we'll see if he even plays um you know a lot of the injuries to Toronto Fred Van Vliet is out for Tuesday. Uh, OG is questionable, so we'll see their statuses as well. Um, last 10 games for Atlanta, 7-3 and three in their last 10. Toronto, 3-7 and seven in their last 10. This is pretty easy for me. I mean, Toronto, God, even though they've had their starters, they just have not played good this season. I know Atlanta has some injuries, but I just cannot trust Toronto whatsoever. Going to take Atlanta plus 2.5, and and we're going to go with the under 221.5. Next matchup, we have the Los Angeles Clippers versus the Indiana Pacers. Clippers 37-18, and 32-23 and 23 against the spread. Pacers 25-27, and 27, 21-31 against the spread. Clippers opening up as 4.5 point favorites with the over-under at 228.5. Last 10 games for the Clippers, 8 and 2 in their last 10. Pacers, 6 and 4 in their last 10. I do see uh, Kawhi Leonard will be is out for Tuesday's matchup. You know, they're still missing Serge and Patrick Beverly. Um Clippers, you know, on a five-game winning streak, but you know, have to come back against this Detroit team last game without Kawhi. Playing a much better team than the Pacers here. We're gonna take the Pacers plus the points against this Clippers team. And we're going to go with the two, the over 228.5. Next matchup, we had the Los Angeles Lakers versus the Charlotte Hornets. Lakers 33 and 20, 26 and 27 against the spread. Hornets 27 and 25, 29, 22 and 1 against the spread. Currently, it's an even spread here uh, with the over under at 208.5. Um, you know, last 10 games for the Lakers, 5 and 5 in their last 10. Charlotte. Six and four in their last ten here. Um, you know, both teams, a lot of injuries. Uh, you know, Drummond has looked really good for the Lakers so far. Uh, it's been pretty dominant in the post. Uh, with an even spread here, you know, neither team's amazing in this one, but I'm going to take the Lakers. They've been kind of playing well the last few games here. Going to take the Lakers on an even spread, and we're going to go with, you know, should be a low score. We're going to take the under 208 and a half. Next matchup, we have the Oklahoma City Thunder versus the Utah Jazz. Thunder 20 and 33, 24, 28 and 1 against the spread. The Jazz 40 and 13, 33, 19 and 1 against the spread. Jazz opening up its massive favorites at minus 17 with the over under at 223. Last 10 games for the Thunder, 1 and 9 in their last 10. Jazz 8 and 2 in their last 10. It's a pretty easy one for me. I mean, Jazz will be coming off a back to back. We'll see if they hold some players out. There are, you know, they're already without um, Mike Conley and Jordan Clarkson for Monday. We'll see who's who plays tomorrow. But 17 points is just too much. You know, I don't like the Thunder, but 17 points is too much. Catching Utah on a back to back here. Gonna take Thunder plus 17. Um, gonna go with the under 223 as well. Next matchup, we have the Boston Celtics versus the Portland Trailblazers. Boston 28 and 26, 26 and 28 against the spread. Portland 31 and 22, 26 and 27 against the spread. Portland opening up as one point favorites with the over under at 227. Last 10 games for Boston, 7 and 3 in their last 10. Portland 6 and 4 in their last 10 here. Um, you know, Portland 5 and 1 in their last 6. 
five and two in their last seven meetings with Portland here. Portland just two and four in their last six and two and four against the spread. You know, love Boston plus one here. Um, should be a battle. Boston, you know, playing really well on a nice little three game winning streak. I like it to continue. You're going to take Boston plus the point. We're going to take the over 227. Last matchup on the board, we had the Miami Heat versus the Phoenix Suns. Miami 28 and 25, 23 and 29, and one against the spread. Phoenix 37 and 15, 34 and 18 against the spread. Phoenix opening up as three and a half point favorites with the over under at 215. Last 10 games for Miami. Six and four in their last ten. Phoenix eight and two in their last ten here. Um, should be a battle. You know, last ten games Miami has won six and four in their last ten. Uh, I'm I'm rolling with Phoenix here. You know, competitive matchups. Phoenix have been really good. I'm gonna take Phoenix minus three and a half, and we're gonna go with the over two fifteen. That's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Tuesday, and I'll see you guys Wednesday. Have a good one.